Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys another one of my Card Fight Vanguard Market Price Watch videos. Uh, with the upcoming Galaxy Stargate Booster Pack, I thought I'd bring you guys just a couple changes that have happened to the price of a lot of Vanguard cards uh, for these and other previous sets, and also some upcoming ones, um, especially GB14. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'll start off, let's go with the probably the, some of the most expensive Vanguard cards, the Xeroth Dragons. We have three Xeroth Dragons in the current uh, game state, and we have Stark coming out this Friday, which is showing to be uh, very pricey, but it's very similar to how Megiddo and Drachma were originally. People just um, very shorthanded to the card. It's, you know, pre-order prices of the big sellers, and I do expect it to go down, but uh, Stark is definitely there because it has an amazing effect first off and it also is relevant in some pretty you know meta related decks including Link Joker so I could see it sticking around the hundred dollar range for sure if you look down we see uh, Drachma has gone up in price I think it was last at eighty dollars now up to or in the hundred dollar range once again and uh, Xeroth Dragon Megiddo and Zoa are both around the $65 uh, range. This is mostly in my uh, thought because we're seeing more decks that use Drachma um, in the current game. Uh, Dragonic Overlord with the Destiny and the Purge uh, was very popular at regionals and worlds. So we see this card going up in price just because more relevant decks use this card um, in the current game. If we saw more you know, decks like, of Magalenica uh, top, we would definitely see Megiddo up in price. Same with uh, Zoa. And that's what's, in my opinion, definitely going to affect the Xeroth Dragons. Ability as well, but you can agree that Megiddo has a much more you know, consistent effect then Drachma, but just because more cards are using Drachma in the current game means that people are going to have this card valued higher because more people need this card. And we'll see if that pattern holds strong with Stark as well when he comes out. I see this also happening with Dust and Ultima in the next pack, which is why uh, grabbing those Xeroth Dragons uh, for value will definitely be worth it when GBD14 comes out. We'll take another couple looks at the upcoming pack. Uh, these prices are, once again, like I said, crazy. Um, but it's definitely going to be that kind of pack where a lot of cards are going to be of value for people who want to build, whether it be Blouse, Victor, Messiahs, uh, D-Robos, Grand Gallop. All that support is in here. I see the pattern trending with the Zoo Booster Pack where a lot of the stuff is maintaining pretty good value, including the heal triggers that are hollow with the effects. Um, the gen rares especially, but we'll get to that later on in the video. And even some of the triple rares, um, depending more upon, you know, what decks are still relevant. But a lot of it, and once the pack, you know, goes out of print, like a lot of the extra boosters, these clan boosters will probably jump up in price for those cards as well. Which is why investing in sets like this, in my opinion, is a very, very good idea. Uh, these sets don't stick around as long as the uh, GBT boosters, that's for sure. But on to individual card prices. Uh, Chaos Breaker Crisis. This card came out in Rondo of Chaos and Salvation. And it is sticking around the $40 price range. Um, this, along with a lot of cards from that set, it's slowly getting out of print, more difficult to find. And not only that, but you have big risks of either pulling big um, or you know, pulling small. I think there's a single digit deleter. It's either deleter or Glendios triple rare you could pull you can either pull that or you could pull you know crisis it's that 50 50 gap that makes buying packs of this set just such a risk but you know people do want those expensive usable cards for the upcoming decks which i think is crazy we got this pack uh not uh so long ago and we already have another pack coming out with more support for the deck um the pattern follows with the messiah support as well which we'll be seeing more of in the upcoming stargate pack so um messiah strides along with the chaos breaker support definitely holding that value i think those might be the only two uh, decks that are getting support in that set but still very very good support especially since people stocked up on the previous set knowing that this set was just around the corner 
Uh, Ranunculus Asha also dropped a little bit in price. I know it stuck around the $30 range when the set came out, but uh, as Asha usually you know, tends to do, these prices will um, fluctuate up and down depending on how the deck does later on. A lot of the Gen Rares and other cards from the pack are still pretty up there in value as well, but she's definitely, um, you know, since you definitely need to run for Asha, that value card that a lot of people look for when they buy this set. Uh, Split Pegasus. With GBT-14, we have more Gear Chronicle uh, Zodiac Time Beast support. So with that, a lot of the old support that you might want to run with the deck, including, you know, strong uh, Zodiac Time Beast cards to work with the new uh, Chrono Jet that's coming out. So Split Pegasus definitely has that potential, along with a couple other cards as well. Uh, Excessive Battler Victor. This card and Grand Gallop both have that value pattern. We're getting support. For both of these decks in Stargate, so their their you know last grade threes that came out from Raging Clash of Blade Fangs and the Team Trinity Dragon Pack both were difficult cards to pull. I wouldn't say Victor as much as Grand Gallop since it was a BT set, but still up there in price. Um, the pack is pretty old now compared to some of the other more recent ones. Uh, I did see this card once at six dollars, shooting up to nearly triple that now. Uh, quite insane. I I think this still might be the main grade three. I mean, Zubat is good, but it um, I just don't think it matches up quite as well yet. It has that good counter charge effect in both if you end up doing both of the requirements for the skill, but I think Excessive Battler Victor just still has that better pressure for the deck. Now talk about some of those gen rares. Uh, Poison Sickle Mutant Deity over WoW. $80. And this set hasn't even been out that long. I think it's almost been a month. But she is incredibly good uh, for the deck. And this is quite insane. We have one uh, seller selling it for the $80 price range. Then after that, $90. And once those are gone... It's going to be definitely one of the highest gen rares I've seen in a good while. She is just such a good stride that Mega Colony needed pressure and draw power all in one card. She's sharing that trend with the other two gen rares, but the other two are, I think, $50 and $30 card range. She's definitely the most expensive gen rare for the Awakening Zoo uh, booster pack, and she deserves it. It's what Mega Colony definitely needed for the deck pick them up i don't know if they'll go down once the deck's popularity dies maybe the lowest my guess would either be 50 or 60 once the awakening zoo pack is kind of you know behind us and people are looking towards the new support uh same with oba tarandis 79 dollar uh, but this you know pack is out of print making it a harder card to pull than uh poison sickle but still up there needed and definitely since it's an out to geese now um with its ability to call units, making it unable to call. So quite crazy there and uh, very, very wild. Uh, Cran Tiger. We talk about some of the support that the Big Belly deck gets. And a lot of the times, the pattern I see with Big Belly decks is they you, you know use the, the new support for the deck and making some of the old support obsolete. Uh, Cran Tiger has been good in that deck and in the Chat Noir deck. Um, and it has always gone up and down with prices. It's been low, 15, high 30s, which is it now. But I think it's just that trend once again. It's a new set, uh, new support. People want Cran Tigers. People want to test out the deck. So definite reason why I see this card being at that price. But like the other Mega Colonies I was just talking about, once the hype kind of dies down, more people you know, getting rid of decks, selling their cards, we'll see the Cran Tiger price drop as well. So if you want to get rid of the deck now for this price, now's the time. Uh, before we see that drop, like I said. Uh, Steam Tamer Arca. This card, uh, once again, gear support. We are getting uh, Zodiac Time Beast support. Arca is still a very, very good, perfect card. And she was reprinted. We're seeing values for this and the reprint around the same area. Um, grab your play sets now. If you didn't already, I think they might even just go up, unless we have another perfect guard that I'm unaware of for the new pack. I know we have a new Zodiac Time Beast G guard, which is going to be insane with the new stride. But this just helps so, so much with that recycle power for the deck. Uh, Mars Block Luger, Blouds are getting support too. And I, I'm a very big fan of the Blau deck, and Mars is definitely good early game support. The deck has always used it as one of its best cards for that early game support. You definitely need Mars um, with the new grade 3. just helps even more with its restand capabilities. 
Um, if you have them, I think they were once single digits, but they've held around this double digit price for a good while now since um, the last pack, which I think was Raging Clash of Blade and Fang for the blouse support. Uh, wrapping up towards the end of the video now, a couple double rares and rares. We have Genesis Beast Deity, Beast Destiny Guardian. Um, this card was actually a dollar G Guardian at one point, but it's one of the better, in my opinion, um, Link Joker G Guards. Definitely one that the deck uses quite a lot now for its plus 10k power. So the pack, absolute judgment. You see some packs of it every now and again, but still one of those harder packs to pull, that's for sure. So definite um, card that you need for the Link Joker decks. And we also have Midday Regalia Hemera. This card shot up like crazy. Uh, Regalia support with the new Minervas. It looks really, really fun. I'm excited for the deck. I'm glad I have my Hemera uh, playset because that recharge of the soul using this card definitely needed with the um, pressure that the new Minerva stride puts out. Uh, Hemera just helps speed it up, running pure Regalia quite possible now to do that we I think we're even getting some new triggers for it so Hemera is going to be an definite after some heavy guarding recycling the soul card to use and last Genesis Dragon Amnesty Messiah this card I actually saw it I think at the seven eight dollar range but people do need those easy messiahs to grab and if you can't afford the gen rare people look to the rare reprints for sure this and next stage whenever they need them so with uh, that pack people needing amnesty um this is the card to go for, and people took advantage of the price shoot up. Uh, same with some of the other cards too. Sacrifice Messiah, Blink Messiah, they all, you know, even the reprints and whatnot, the old cards. Uh, Flagellette is 15. All those cards for Genesis fans, the old support that they need, up in price as well. And something to look forward to with that upcoming Stargate pack. But that is it for this uh, month's market price watch. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm quite excited to see how these next two sets will do. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.